All right, it's Luke here. I want to show y'all something in case you don't know. On Windows Sheet Cam, um, I believe I'm using, um, let's see here. I'm using TNG Development in Sheet Cam. Okay. There's an option. It may be in the stable version, but I'm not sure. But up at the top, there's a toolbar. And if you click on this, this is to actually, this is a shape library and you can pick a new shape and here's your options. Forget my video, I'm not a professional video guy. You got basic shapes, which is circles, convex rectangles, triangles, polygons, and you can scroll down a little bit, down to brackets, base plates, uh, lifting lugs, this type of stuff, more brackets, uh, lap joint, rectangle mount plate, uh, gussets and specialty shapes. With all of these, you can click on one. So let's just do a pot flange, for example. You pick a pot flange, double click on it. There's your pot flange. And then over here, you can tell it outer diameter, PCD, number of holes, uh, the center hole, or the hole diameter of the, of the holes. Um, and then you got some options. You can do square holes if you wanted, and then the center hole. And then you just, just click new shape and then you can actually cut this sucker from uh, from sheet cam. So with it, this is a shape library that has lots of shapes that you can add without even having to go to your CAD program. Uh, this is only on the Windows sheet cam, not on the Linux computers like what comes with the table. So if you draw or have sheet cam on your in your office or uh, on a laptop, you can do all this stuff here. Just some good information. Wanted to pass it on.